The winner of the 2011 Northern Territory White Pages Community and Government Award is Priscilla Collins. Uh, it's such a um, huge honour to win this award and I kind of like we're saying to Benita, oh, I hope I don't win because I don't want to get up and say anything. <laughs> um, but I would like to thank Telstra for these awards because they do acknowledge the hard work that women do and we don't really promote ourselves. We normally promote everyone else around us. And the process I went through um, for these awards was really amazing because it made me really sit back and look at the work I really do do. Because when Telstra rang me, um, I thought, I don't actually do anything that's really spectacular. So I don't, I, I don't actually, I'm not actually anything that stands out. Um, I am the CEO of the largest legal service in the Northern Territory. But when I started in 2007, I have no legal background at all. I didn't even step foot inside a courthouse. So, you know, I took on a huge role and when I started at NARJA, I looked at how many Aboriginal people came in contact with the criminal justice system and I was, and, and you know, and every year those numbers were just going through the roof and I was like, no. So my goal really was to look at why my people come in contact with the justice system and what I can do to reduce that and to make our community safer. So that was through forming a lot of partnerships with key people that people would normally see as our, our enemies, you know. So we was forming partnerships with the prisons, the police, the magistrates, the legal services, so that together we're here to make our community safer. And another reason why I didn't quite think um, I was anything special was because I actually work for the most amazing organisation and I have the most amazing board and staff that I work with. So they make my life really easy and they have always supported my family. And um, like, you know, all of my from Alice Springs know, we come from big Aboriginal family. We are breeders, so, you know, <laughs> they know we have heaps of kids, so they, they take that on board when they employ you. And um, so, you know, I'm a single mother of six children. My eldest is 19 and my baby is two. So, you know, I'm, I actually feel when I work for this organisation, it's a luxury because I have the ability to work up to the day my babies are born, take a week off and then go back to work with my babies. <laughs> and, you know, people are used to that. <laughs> except, um, except, you know, with the twins, I did take two weeks, so that was a bit of a, a luxury. But I think it's now that people actually realise that people who work, um, mothers who work actually have families. And I started to kind of like change that culture when I um, had number four, um, I had a phone call two hours after I had my baby and it was from the Australian Film, Television and Radio School for a teleconference. And I thought, oh, how do you know I was here? They said, oh, we just rang calm and they told us she was in labour so we thought we'd catch you before you go off next week. <laughs> so, you know, so for me, I, I, my sort of message um, out, you know, to people is that, you know, if an Aboriginal person from Alice Springs, I was raised with no money, I only went to public schools, and I'm a single mother of six. If I can do it, that means anybody can do it. And all you need... <laughs> so all you need is a vision, work hard, and don't let anything come in your way um, because there's going to be hurdles along the way and you just jump them as you go. Um, so, and, and the other thing, you know, like I tell my kids, you know why I work? Because I go to work to relax. <laughs> and, and I say to them, because you know when I go to work, did you know I'm the boss and people listen to me? <laughs> and they would just go, mm, whatever. <laughs> so, you know, I'd like to thank Telstra and the White Pages, to my board and my staff, to everyone at Karma, especially Frida Glynn and Owen Cole, to my mother, Biddy Donnellan, and to my kids, Tiani, Jamie, Cody, Kyle, Sean and Tony. Thank you.